Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Have I started this vlog yet? I don't think so. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm having dinner, lasagna, good chef lasagna and veg. Because I'm a fucking creature of habit. Watching Peaky Blinders. I'm up to the season two finale. It's intense, really intense. I had a big fat editing day, which is probably why you guys didn't see me. And I trained, which I will insert now. All of those years that passed us by all of those tears we both have cried good morning guys happy tuesday i have woken up with a headache i don't feel great um so i've drunk lots of water but i'm going to have breakfast see if putting some food in my belly helps get rid of it but i think i'm going to take some Nurofen, which I don't really, I don't really like to do, but I also don't like to sit with a headache. Guess who's back on the Bloob Smooths? Bloob Smooth back! Mm. Yum. I need to get Greek yogurt to put in that because it just makes it so like delicious. But I love my bloob smoothies. So I just felt like something different today. So freaking good. And of course, my dust. Oh my god, it's Annabelle. Nori, you're not meant to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have one too? Yes. Thank you. Um, may I please have a seat? Oh my god, guys, dinner looks freaking spectacular tonight. Oh, I know I've nailed my steak tonight. Comment down below how many of you have tried my mash technique yet? Do you love it? I put a little bit too much liquid in tonight, too much milk, so it's a little runny, but oh. Still so like whipped and delicious. Yum. I really miss to see you smile. I blame myself. Although I tried, although I tried, I tried. Even if I love you, this fight is yours, no matter what I do. I need to train. My tummy's actually rumbling. Hi, you regal creature. Look at you up there. Look at her. Honey. Honey. Hi, pretty girl. Um, I'm about to drop some cake off to friends, to brighten their days. Um, so I'm going to drop it off to Noni and Sam. Um, drop some to my friend Jay. Drop some to Annabelle. Drop some to Jesse and Andy. Um, just all people that are in my five kilometer radius. Just to brighten their days a little bit during this lockdown. I bring you cake! It's cream cheese and That's velvet so for my possum. Thank you so much. And possums. Oh my god. Dear <laughs> girl. Thanks for the delivery. Love you. Love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now we got you? something to brighten oh your day. Oh my god. All right, I'm having a very uh, basic dinner because it's 8.23. 
and I'm tired, it's late, and I'm hungry, but I couldn't, I didn't want to get takeaway. I wanted to save my money. So I'm going to have eggs, scrambled eggs on toast. Lovely. And ooh, I'm going to watch Peaky Blinders. My apartment is a bomb. I'm also in the process of getting rid of my rug. I will talk to you more about that and the reason why tomorrow. Don't mind the clothes everywhere. Oh my gosh, it looks so much like less personal. Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I just got a PR package from Amazon. I am an Amazon ambassador, so I'm working with them for their latest TV show coming out, Nine Perfect Strangers. And I'm so excited because the book sounds amazing. Um, so they've sent me the book to read which is perfect for lockdown. Um, yeah, this is perfect timing because Leanne Moridy, who wrote Nine Perfect Strangers, is one of my favorite authors. She's also written um, Truly Madly Guilty, um, Big Little Lies, The Husband's Secret. Great author, so I'm very excited for this. Perfect timing for lockdown as well. So they've sent me a robe because I'm gonna have a little pamper day. Chocolate, candles, snacks, cookies, and they've sent me, which is huge, a Nutribullet, <laughs> because they've sent me fresh, fresh produce to make a smoothie. So they've sent me like strawberries, bananas, almond milk, peanut butter, oh my god. An avocado. Wow. I'm so lucky the brands I work with, honestly. I just, I don't even know. I'm so freaking lucky. So yeah, I'm going to do this, shoot this. And then I actually have, oh, and they sent me a yoga mat. Then I have a not so fun appointment after this. I am heading to the hereditary cancer clinic in Sydney to get some gene testing done because I am a high risk for breast cancer. So I'm getting the BRCA gene testing done, the BRCA testing, because there are quite an alarming number of women or people in my family that have had breast cancer or have breast cancer, um, unfortunately. So I'm getting that done today. Well, I think, I don't know if they'll do the testing today. It is a blood test though. so. I'm assuming they will do it today. So that's a bit like a bit of a buzzkill, not ideal. Um, so doing that, trying not to overthink it. And uh, and then, yeah, shooting some work. We go for a walk this afternoon. Um, and yes, gosh, I'm tired. Okay. about the what if we do find something um, in the, the bracket thing. So as, um, as Bridget mentioned, they're essentially cancer protection genes, having a faulty copy of one of your cancer protection genes mm -hmm. places you at higher risk for certain types of cancer. Um, so as you mentioned, um, in women, it's mainly breast and ovarian cancer. <laughs> yeah, so low, 4.4. 4. You have to eat, I give you more bath, mm -hmm. and then you just eat your chocolate a bit, and then yeah, you can hold on. Get me the fuck 
out of this place. <sighs> I fainted twice from both fucking blood tests. <sighs> and then my blood pressure was super low, so they wouldn't let me leave. I had to eat a chocolate bar and drink fucking 500 mils of water. No, I can't remember what I put. Oh, get it out. Yeah, man. Oh! <laughs> fucking nailed it. Maybe. Oof. Ah! <laughs> have you had the tiramisu from here? Hi guys, happy Saturday. I'm just gonna quickly get some dishes done. You're not even or straight, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, yesterday was a big day. Very overwhelming. So I didn't get the greatest of news. My testing has gone ahead because I'm classified as a high risk. So in about 10 weeks, we'll find out if I have either BRCA gene one or two. Um, and it was just a lot to digest because we were talking about like how we would like Obviously you need to think of the bigger picture and you have to sort of like look into the future and mentally prepare so um, we had to discuss like my options, what I would do if I were to test positive um, and like obviously one of the op options is a double mastectomy which is a lot for anyone to digest and like consider but like as a young woman it's a lot um, and then along with that you are also high risk for ovarian cancer so that's another thing I have to consider is if I will have my ovaries removed that can be done at a later date like in my mid 30s but still it's just a lot of my womanhood just being taken away from me at least I have 10 weeks to process it. It's just some things that have been going on lately. And yeah, someone very close to me has, is currently, like we found out they've got breast cancer. And so that's just been really traumatizing to have another person in the family diagnosed with cancer is really hard. Um, but yeah, that's what's triggered me to have to go and get this testing done. Oh, Will is waiting out the front for me. I best be going. I'm going for a walk with Will. Um, we're going to go to Grandpa Baker. We're going to walk to Recluse. Go on a big nice walk. And then... So we've come to Grumpy Baker and we got this like it's a pastry with mashed potato, garlic and rosemary and it's fucking unreal. We got an iced coffee, there's William over there. Um we're just waiting for the coffee and I got a chocolate croissant as well. Ooh, it's so so good. Good morning wait. Oh. <laughs> Almost eight ships as well, gosh. Hi, good morning, it's still the morning. Morning. Oh, I can get Smarties. 
Say hello to the vlog. Hi. I forgot I was vlogging today. Just been for a lovely swim. Just off the smash the I mean, she is. I don't drink mug. Pins are out. Oh, damn it. I was really hoping they were police on those bikes. <laughs> Gorgeous day here in Bondi. I'm having Domino's for dinner. So I got garlic bread, barbecue chicken pizza, and I got little donuts for dessert. And I'm watching Peaky Blinders. Not bad for a Sunday.